Hello guys, welcome back to Android Power. So MIUI 10 has launched in China for Xiaomi's Chinese variant devices. Currently this is a closed beta ROM and if you have unlocked bootloader and custom recovery installed, you can install this ROM via TWRP recovery and I am giving in the links in description box. So do check out that links for supported devices. And currently I am installing this ROM on my Redmi Note 5 Pro and I will also test so we can use this ROM on daily basis or not and there are some major changes in UI wise in MIUI 10 so before we go ahead if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified when I upload a new video so this is the initial setup of MIUI 10 you can change the region to India and you can set the language to English from Chinese so this is a Chinese closed beta ROM but you can set the language to English and also you can connect to Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is working fine so I have to set it up my fingerprint so I can check the FP sensor is working fine or not and as you can see the FP sensor is working fine as like MIUI 9 so this is a Chinese ROM so there are no Google app pre-installed so I will tell you in the end of the video how you guys can install this ROM and install Google app. So watch the video till the end. And regarding the theme, there are no new themes. These are the same old themes of MIUI 9 and Geo is working fine. So finally we have done setting up our phone. This is a lock screen of MIUI 10 and if you swipe from left, you can access the Mi remote and if you access from right, you can access the MI camera. So let's not waste our time and check the device settings and MIUI version and Android version and as you can see it says MIUI 10 and the Android version is Oreo 8.1 and the security patch level is my 1. Coming to the big changes, this is a new quick setting toggles and new notification panel with new brightness slider and if you long press on any toggle it will take you the respective settings and if you guys have noticed if you pull down the notification panel the other part of the screen will blur so they have added a new feature called blur ui so in my opinion they have done a great job and it's looked like android p and coming to the next big change this is a new recent app menu and now you can go up and down to access more recent app and for clearing them you can simply swipe left or right and if you long press on any recent app you can go to split screen mode and you can lock the app and also you can go to the app settings and the next change is the new volume slider when we hit the volume buttons we can adjust the volume of media instead of finger and we can also enable or disable silent button in just a one click and we can also expand the volume button and we can adjust the volume of media ringer alarms and also there is a silent or do not disturb mode present in this volume expandable menu also there is a countdown timer mode present in this menu that can enable silent or do not disturb mode automatically now coming to the camera app the camera app is working fine photos videos and the portrait mode pictures are working fine the quality of the picture is very nice and there is no lag at all you can use the camera without any issues and there is also a face lock present in this room that works flawlessly there is no lag in the face lock app as well and geo is working fine as you can see there is a small change in the ui of a dialer app and also there is a mi assistant available in this room but when i try to enable the mi assistant it keeps stopping and if we talk about the device settings that has not been changed yet this is the old device settings menu that we saw on the MIUI 9 but you can enable some advanced feature of China ROM like you can enable dual apps or second space option and also you can enable some options in MIUI lab like telpes or photos in gallery and if we talk about the battery life I can't comment on battery life as of now but battery seems to be working fine Coming to the weather app, the weather app has been changed a bit. You can download app from the play store. Now coming to the theme store, the theme store was in Chinese cause it's a China ROM and I have changed it to the English and if you guys want to know how to change theme store in English, let me know in the comment section below. I will make a separate video for that and the ROM pass triple check and I have tested fast charging with my MI fast charger and the fast charging is working fine in my redmi note 5 pro and also there is a iphone x gestures are available in this room like miui 9 you can use those gestures instead of navbar buttons and coming to the benchmark 
So Geekbench score for single CPU core is 1328 and the multi core score is 4724 and coming to the Antutu benchmark score is that is 1,14,458 now coming to the installation process and now I am going to tell you how you guys can install this ROM and G apps in this ROM just follow my steps so go to the custom recovery and back up your current ROM and data in case anything goes wrong now go to wipe then advanced wipe then select catch system and data now swipe to confirm wipe now hit the install button and navigate the downloaded files and select the MIUI 98.5.13 zip and now select the lazy flasher zip if you have encryption issues swipe to confirm flash now as you can see the ROM is flashing when the flashing process has done go back don't reboot your phone hit the install button and navigate the gx zip file and select that and swipe to confirm flash you are done now now you can use miui 10 rom with gx package so that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed my work please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then i am signing off bye bye